In the previous lecture, we had discussion on average power in case of AC circuits and now we are going to solve one problem based on the same topic and according to the problem, we are required to find out the average power supplied by the source and the average power absorbed by the resistor in this electrical circuit and you can see that this one here is the source and this one here is the resistor and apart from these two elements we also have one capacitor and all three are connected in series and uh, we will first focus on this part of the question that is we will first find out the average power supplied by the source this element and uh, we know the average power is equal to the half Vm Im cos theta V minus theta i so in order to find out the average power we need the maximum value of the voltage the maximum value of the current the phase of the voltage and the phase of the current and this phasor the voltage phasor given in the question is corresponding to the peak value it is not written in the question but it is part of the question that this phasor is corresponding to the peak value of the voltage VT and therefore this 5 here this 5 here is Vm and this 30 is theta V so we have Vm and we have theta V now we will shift our focus on the calculation of Im and theta I so that we can have the average power and we can have Im and theta i once we have the impedance offered by this resistor and this capacitor combined they are in series and therefore the impedance offered by them will be 4 plus minus j2 ohm from here we will have the impedance equal to 4 minus j2 ohm this is in rectangular form and it will be good if we can have the polar form of the impedance why because we are interested in having i m and theta i this means we want i phasor i m angle theta i let's say current in this circuit is i t and therefore corresponding to this i t we have this i phasor which is equal to i m angle theta i and from the ohm's law we know i phasor i phasor will be equal to v phasor v phasor divided by the impedance the voltage phasor is in the polar form and if we have the impedance in the polar form as well then it will be very easy to divide them and therefore we will convert the rectangular form to the polar form we already know how to do it under root 4 square plus square of minus 2 and the angle will be 10 inverse minus 2 divided by 4 when you solve it using your calculator you will find impedance z in the polar form is equal to 4.472 angle minus 26.565 degrees now we will move on to the calculation of i phasor it will be very easy now i phasor will be equal to 5 angle 30 degrees divided by 4.472 angle negative of 26 point five six five degrees when you solve it you will have the current phasor equal to one point one one eight angle fifty six point five seven degrees and the unit will be amperes now we will find out the average power we have the peak value of the current i m and we have the phase of the current theta i so the average power will be equal to half multiplied to vm which is 5 
multiplied to I m which is 1.118 cos theta v which is 30 degrees minus theta i minus 56.57 degrees when you simplify this you will have the average power supplied by the source equal to 2.5 watts this is the answer now moving on to the next part of the question we are required to find out the average power absorbed by the resistor when you focus on the network given in the question you will find we have one resistor and we have one capacitor and we know capacitor will not absorb any average power and therefore the average power delivered by the source will be absorbed only by the resistor so the same average power will be absorbed by the resistor so this is our answer so i hope the question was clear to you i will end this lecture here see you in the next one